Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. This is going to be dealing with a Hess equation, okay? So we've got the uh, 4NH3 gas plus 5O2 gas yields 4NO gas plus 6H2O gas. So now we're going to look at our set of reactions. So these are the sub-reactions. N2 gas plus O2 gas yields 2NO gas. N2 gas plus 3H2 gas yields 2NH3 gas and 2H2 gas plus O2 gas yields 2H2O gas. So these are our sub-reactions right here. So these three sub-reactions will have to make this reaction right there. That's what we're aiming to do. So let's go ahead and erase that real quickly. Okay. So now let's have some fun. Let's get rid of this given thing here. All right, now, the first thing I want to do is this. Okay. NH3, this guy right here, is on the wrong side of the yield sign. So what we need to do is we need to flip this equation. Okay? So to get that on the right side. So let's go ahead and get rid of those circles real quickly. And let's flip our equation. So what we're going to do is we're, doing, we're going to actually erase the equation because of space. And I'm going to erase it here. Whoops, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, now we're going to do this here. Get rid of that guy there. Okay. So we're going to flip this puppy. And when we flip this puppy, we're going to get uh, 2 NH3 gas yields N2 plus 3 H2 gas. Now I'm going I'm to write flip here. It's to remind us that we flipped that particular equation, okay? But when we flipped it, look at our negative sign here. That negative sign is negative. If we flip the equation, we're going to have to do something like change the sign. So that sign is not going to become not negative, but positive. So now we have a positive sign there. All right, now let's look at our hydrogens. We've got two hydrogens here and three hydrogens there, okay? So what's common between three and two? That's right, six is. Six is our commonality. So what we want to do is we want to change that so this becomes six. So let's go ahead and erase uh, those circles real quickly. And so now, to make that a 6, what are we going to have to do? Why? We're going to have to, that's a 3 there, so we're going to have to multiply everything, of course, by 2, okay? So we're times everything by 2 here. And then, for this hydrogen here, that's 2, so we're going to have to multiply everything by 3. So we multiply this by 2, this becomes 4. And that becomes 2. And that becomes 6. See that? But if we multiply that by 2, we must all multiply this number by 2. Okay. So this 2 now becomes a 6. We put a 3 in front of the oxygen, and we put a 6 in front of the H2O there. But we also have to multiply this by 3. All right. So things are getting pretty easy now. So now what we want to do is we're going to go through the process of elimination. So by the way, we're going to go ahead and put our final answer signs down there. Okay, so now we want to eliminate things that are not in this equation, right, in the original. So let's get rid of that error there, and we're going to change the ink this time to blue. All right, now, is hydrogen anywhere in the original equation right here? The answer is no. However, hydrogen's on opposite sides of the yield sign now, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. So those hydrogens are gone. We don't have to deal with that six anymore. All that's gone. So hydrogen's gone. Good deal. All right, now, what about our waters? Is water on that side? It is. What about our nitrogens. Oh look, we have two nitrogens here, right? 
So that means we've got to multiply our first equation by 2. So we're not quite there yet. So we're going to multiply everything here by 2. That gives me 2 here, that gives me 2 there, and that gives me 4 there. So we have to multiply this also by 2. So far, so good. All right. So now, nitrogen is not in the original equation. So we need to get rid of nitrogen. So go back and change our colors here. And watch this. This two nitrogen thing, it's gone. It's on the opposite side of this one, so that's gone. So it looks like we've got everything that we need now. So let's go ahead and add everything up. Let's change our colors back to black here. Okay. So now, we have 4 in H3 gas plus, look at this, 2 plus 3 make 5 oxygens. Okay? And we put the gas there. Yields 4 in O plus 6 H2O. And look at that, guys. We, we, we put that equation back together. Now, let's figure out what our delta H value is. Let's figure out what enthalpy is. And let's figure if this is an endothermic or exothermic reaction. Okay, so we take our first delta H. We go 180.6 times 2. That gives me 361.2. Okay, now we're going to go 91.8 times 2. That's going to give me 183.6. Now we're going to take negative 483.7 times 3. That's going to give me negative 1,400. And 51.1. Now all we have to do is add this number to this number to this number. So let's add them all up. Okay, so we add 183.6 to the last number plus 361.2 equals, and our delta H value is going to equal negative 906.3 kilojoules. What does that tell us? That tells us that this reaction is exothermic. Well, anyway, you guys, you be snarly, and we'll see you back here at Moosing Chemistry. And remember, watch these videos because you're really going to enjoy Hess.